turnovers that just ended up being the thing that killed you guys the most? Oh, yeah, you know, look, we put ourselves in a position, you know, up one with 29 seconds. Uh, and, you know, we lose the game. And, you know, once again, we gave ourselves a great opportunity to win the game. We didn't. But obviously having 22 turnovers uh, that led to 29 points didn't help. But still, with that being said, you know, we still still had the lead and had the ball with 29 seconds to go and came out on the short end. What do you do after a second loss, two in a row like this, and these heartbreakers that happened in the end like that? How do you go back in there and get everyone off of this and ready for tomorrow? Well, I mean, you know, you're allowed to be disappointed and upset uh, tonight. And, um, you know, look, the bottom line is on the road. You try to put yourselves in a position to win the game. And unfortunately, the last two nights we've done that, and we've, we've lost them both. But you got to keep your head up and uh, move forward. And, and, you know, it's the law of averages. Keep on plugging away, and you keep on being persistent. And... Uh, you just you just keep on moving forward. Had you planned to give Kid that much time off, or was it a situation where Marcus was playing well, so you left him in? Yeah, a combination of both. Marcus playing well and also with Jason. I mean, he's just playing so many minutes that it's not humanly possible for him to keep on going. So we, we want to keep him around that 36-minute mark, and you know, uh, so that was that was the decision we made.